The New Look Connecticut Sun opened their training camp Monday at Connecticut College. After an off-season roster makeover, Kara Lawson, Renee Montgomery, and Tina Charles were among the many new players at the camp. We just got here last night, so once we get through one practice, it'll be a little easier, you know, learn everyone's names and everything. It's difficult. It's just me, you know, and there's nine new people. But among those new players, there was one familiar face. Well, so when I saw her last night, she walked in, I'm like, she looked familiar to me. I didn't know where I knew her from when I saw her initially, but I knew I recognized her. And then I'm like, oh, she's an intern. I'm like, that's right. Former University of Vermont standout May Katsopoulos worked as an intern with The Sun last summer. Well, we would set up the concourse and take care of any of the promotional events that would go on on the court throughout the game. And we just had to take care of all the little stuff that people don't necessarily think of happens during a game. And for me as a player, to see that side of it is, was very interesting and very useful for me in the future because I want to do some in sports marketing when I'm older. Well, it is kind of crossing the line, you know, but we had our own like Olympics last year and we said that whatever intern could lift the most cases of water up the stairs three times would have an, an opportunity to qualify. And of course, payoffs always help too. So if you're really good to like the GM or the coaches and you like bring us coffee or something like that, or for me, you know, hot chocolate, then it builds a lot of points, Mike. General Manager Chris Yenko and Head Coach Mike Tebow were not joking when they offered Katsopoulos a training camp contract. As somebody told me we had somebody on our uh, intern staff that could probably compete with our players in practice, so I made a point of finding out who the heck that was. I I'd heard m like mutters of it that the possibility was maybe happening, and then but to actually hear him of all people invite me, I kind of just sat there taken aback and just. I was just was kind of like, you know, just being from Canada, this is just a dream come true. Not even a dream, because I didn't think it was possible, probably, when I was coming from Canada. I wanted her to know that, you know, I liked how she played. I wanted to give her an opportunity. A lot of times these opportunities help kids like her, you know, to get a good job overseas, uh, be seen by other teams, get in an exhibition game, those kinds of things. Despite her feel-good story, Katsopoulos faces a harsh reality in her first foray into professional basketball. The chances of making our team are very tough for a kid like that. If you're on the court, you're on the court. I don't care if you're one of the practice players, someone coaches brings in to help out. If you're in practice and you're in our uniform, no, everybody gets treated the same. I will still hate the day I have to cut some of these players during camp, but all of them have been told, including May, that you know that day is probably got a good chance of coming. Just enjoy the experience for what it is. Work hard, see what you learn, and you never know. Um, so um, I, I'm excited to let those kids come out here and see what they can do.